Welcome to Corio Wood. In this series, we introduce Linux operating system. As here, we discuss in depth about Linux operating systems, about Linux distribution, about Linux GUI and command line interface. We study Linux and we talk why Linux is good and what you can do with Linux. So we have a lot to cover. Now we dive into Linux subject. So, what is Linux? Linux is operating system, just like Windows and Mac OS that runs on computers. But as we explained already, unlike Windows and Mac OS, which cost you money to purchase, Linux is completely free and open source. All Linux products are free, such as word processor and spreadsheet, which is LibreOffice, GIMP, Blender, DVD burner, music player, and video player. In short, Linux is a free computer operating system as you're authored by a community of open source developers. Linux is everywhere, from Android devices which is based on Linux, all the way to international space stations and world's top supercomputers, including Google, are all Linux-based. World's largest automaker Toyota has chosen Linux as its operating system as your Linux is very powerful and has no limits to its usage. It is one of the most reliable and trusted operating systems out in the market today. It is virus, malware, slow down and crash free. Plus it is not even cost you a single cent to use it. It is completely free and open source. It has thousands of programmers worldwide who keeps an eye on every single bug and fix it immediately upon finding it as opposed to closed source operating systems. Despite you even spend thousands of dollars, you get frustrations of malware, slow downs, crashes, and viruses. Linux is the platform of choice for universities and businesses worldwide to run desktops, servers, and embedded systems across the globe. Linux is one of the most reliable, secure and worry-free operating systems available. Linux welcomes collaboration. This spirit has earned Linux a reputation as a breeding ground for innovation. Linux has developed features that were eventually adopted by major operating systems. It is a bit intimidating when you see and use it for the first time. But just as any relationship, your relationship with Linux grows stronger and stronger at every corner and turn. And finally you cannot imagine yourself being away from Linux. If you looking to be computer genius and programmer and looking for good career, then Linux is the operating system for you. Just like Windows OS and Mac OS, Linux has GUI too. GUI graphical user interface and command line interface which is called CLI. And with command line interfaces or CLI, everything is under your fingertips. You can be very easy going or can push the your computer to its limits. And you can be very complicated. Linux is the operating system for general public programmers and engineers. You can use it for programming, making websites, making animations, making games, making robots, artificial intelligence, making search engines and so on. A. And what is command line interface? Or C. Li GUI is the graphics you see on the sides of computer screen. And on the bottom us here all our graphical application resides here. And, this is command line interface or CLI. We can update computer, upgrade computer, install applications and so on. This is the main part of Linux. Technically, Linux is a kernel, or the fundamental component of the operating system is here the Linux OS. Can alternatively be installed to run alongside Windows and share the drive of the computer, or you can install it as the only operating system of your computer. So you can install and run Linux. Alongside Windows operating system as you're in later tutorials, we'll show you how you do that. When you install Linux, you learn about all the technicalities of operating system as you're a dedicated team of Linux. Programmers supports you on the background but not upgrade or update your operating system as your it is recommended. 
you have to update and upgrade your OS all the time. And you learn how to update and upgrade your operating system as here you can deal with problems and solve them as here and as you go along. You are going to be expert in no time. If you want to be computer hacker or computer security expert, then Linux operating system is for you. It has the same command line interface as of Kali Linux. What is Kali Linux? Kali Linux is penetration testing and hacking framework. It has everything similar to Linux operating system as your Kali Linux is out of scope of this video. We make separate video on that. Now we talk about Linux distribution and flavors. What is a distribution or distros? Linux has a number of different flavors and versions to suit any type of user. From new users to very experienced users, you'll find a flavor of Linux to match your needs. Many Linux distributions use the word Linux in their name, but everybody in Linux calls it GNU Linux. These versions are called distros or distributions. No purchase is required to use, distribute or modify Linux. Currently, more than 300 modified versions or distros of Linux are available with new versions continuously being created. Nearly every distribution of Linux can be downloaded for free. And here are the list of most popular Linux are Ubuntu, very popular, Debian, very popular, Solos, Linux Mint, Manjaro, Antergos, Fedora Red Hat, Elementary OS, OpenSUSE. In this series our Linux operating system are Ubuntu 18. Who created Linux OS? The Linux kernel, created by Linus Torvalds, was made available to the world for free. Torvalds then invited others to add to the kernel provided that they keep their contributions free. Thousands of programmers began working to enhance Linux, and the operating system grew rapidly. And today as we speak nearly every device in the world uses Linux. It could be right in your pocket. Remember Android Mobile is Linux. Just turn it on and see how quickly it loads the device. Unlike some paid operating systems, which take ages to load,